Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash hookah anonymous underscore. You guys been telling us to create one for the longest, so we recently created a community where we will upload videos that we can't share on YouTube due to their guidelines We'll also be dropping the latest to their first behind the scenes information that you wouldn't find anywhere else on our socials. So make sure you become a member. And after you do that, head over to our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore and follow us there. Now, without further ado, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, Blog Boy JB. Now, for someone to have a feature with Drake, in which for some of y'all that don't know, he had the song Look Alive that came out in 2018 which featured Drake and it was a very big song back in the time. But for some reason, instead of going forward, it seems like ever since the feature, Blockboy JB has been going downhill. Now don't get me wrong, he had other songs that did exceptionally well, where he had Rover 2.0 featuring 21 Savage, as well as Shoot, that did pretty well and a lot of people known him for it. But it seems like after the feature, he haven't been able to keep himself out of trouble and in fact, he has been having a few run-ins with the law. In 2019, he was facing felony drug and weapon charges after investigators say they were tipped off that he was hiding another man that was wanted for catching a body in his house. When law enforcement came to the house, they found the man that they was looking for in the attic, and then they also found Black Boy JB trying to speed away from the home in which he was eventually caught However, law enforcement still found a couple weapons and drugs in his house, and that's what he was charged with. Not sure what came out of that case, but in 2020, he was also convicted of manufacturing and selling a controlled substance, in which he was sentenced to only one day in jail. Now, I don't know how that works, but fast forward to today, Blockboy JB will find himself right back in jail, and this time, it's sort of like he walked himself in there without anybody asking. This is because Black Boy JB was found behind the wheel of a car sleep while he had a gun and drugs in his possession and was found by the police. Now this is something you either see on YouTube during one of those police videos or something you see straight in a movie. Now to be honest with you, I wouldn't believe this if they told me this, but now I see it for myself on the news. And what I think plays a major part in all of this is substance abuse or whatever type of drugs that these guys like to glorify them taking, it seems like this time he was under the influence of something and it costed him way much more in the long run. So we're gonna get into all that, man, but before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm. And if you not subscribed to the platform already, y'all make sure y'all do so now. Let's get into it. Now, Blockboy faces a couple charges actually, including ones that he already had, so I don't know if he's also gonna be charged as a habitual criminal but maybe they just do that in chicago now according to a memphis article with rag news it would say quote a memphis rapper with a long criminal record in shelby county was arrested early tuesday morning after he allegedly dozed off at an intersection along north germantown with his foot on a brake and a gun on his lap james lee baker also known as black boy jb was also accused of having drugs in his car and is facing several charges including possession of marijuana and being a convicted felon in possession of a weapon. THP said the 28-year-old previously had his driver's license revoked due to a DUI, which means he's also going to be charged with that 9 times out of 10, driving with a license that was revoked. Which is crazy because if his license was in fact revoked, I don't know why he would think it will be okay to drive under the influence of whatever it was and also be stuck at an intersection knowing that your license was revoked. That's a big chance to take. However, the article will also say, quote, a trooper said he approached Baker's SUV at North Germantown Parkway in Chickering Lane after seeing it sit through two full traffic signal cycles. Baker was asleep at the wheel with his vehicle in drive and he had a loaded Glock and a bag of marijuana on his lap. The trooper said Baker's SUV was blocking the northbound traffic flow in the middle lane. According to the affidavit, 
He was in a red Mazda SUV. It was found with 12.4 grams of marijuana on his lap in the bag. Now, I don't know if whatever he was smoking or drinking was that good, but it definitely costed him a whole lot more. And to be honest with y'all, he's actually lucky because it could have got worse. They said he was in the middle lane and it was a lot of traffic and he also had his foot on the brake, meaning that the car was running and it wasn't in park. So to be asleep or dozing off and to just have your foot on a brake, meaning that all his foot had to do was get off the brake if he would have slept a little longer and he probably could have crashed into somebody or somebody could have crashed into him, who knows? We just know that it could have been a lot worse. And in worst case scenarios, we know that these guys have a lot of ops or you know, at least they rap about it. So luckily the cops found you before one of your ops did because that would have been an easy target. You know, I don't know how careless this man could be to where he's literally sleeping at a red light enough to where he got his foot on a, that means he probably dozed off, right? And we know that these guys are big on pills, uh, marijuana usage. We don't know what it was and I'm not gonna sit there and put that on him and say that he had a pill or anything, but I don't know how potent or strong marijuana gotta be for you to be driving and then just suddenly doze off. Like that's careless. Not to mention, he had a weapon uh, on his lap as well as drugs. You know, so it could have been anybody. Anybody could have looked in the car, probably took his weapon from him, probably tried to rob him, or maybe he could have woke up suddenly, put his hand on his weapon, thinking that one of his ops was trying to get him, and he's just so, you know, paranoid or shocked how he woke up, and he don't know what's going on, and maybe he could have shot somebody. Who knows? Anything could have happened. So thank God that the cops got him and we don't know what's gonna come out of this. However, he did have court today and I guess we just gotta wait and see what comes out of it. Now the sad part is he does have priors. He is a convicted felon. So he's not supposed to have a weapon for one. And then two, he already have weapon charges where he was caught with one before being a convicted felon. So it's two of those charges in one. I don't know if Memphis have the um, Armed Habitual Criminal Act I don't know what that's going to mean for him, but I always tell y'all that somehow, some way, these celebrities have a way of getting into stuff and getting out without doing any type of jail time. Who know? They said in 2020, he was caught and convicted of manufacturing and selling a controlled substance, but somehow he only spent a day in jail. So I don't know how that works, man. Other than that, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. And let us know the possibilities of other things happening if he would have been caught by his ops or anybody else, man. All right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. I'm out.